let me show you how you can screen mirror your LG smartphone to your simple known Android homey TV. Yeah, I got a known Android simple TV and my LG smartphone is being mirrored to it. It's free, it's homey, and the best part is that you don't have to download anything. It's wireless so you can play games if you want to, you can watch videos. By the way, I'll show you exactly how you can do this step by step guys, so don't worry about that. Again, if you have any questions, do let me know in the com coming section below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe, okay? All right, so as I said before, it's really simple. You can watch videos if you want to. As you can see, I'm using YouTube at the moment. And once you play the video, it will automatically play on your TV. So the audio will be coming from the TV. And it's just, it's just awesome. I'll show you tons of more tips. So let's just, let's just dive right into it. Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe, okay? Because it's awesome, okay? All right, so as you can see, I'm using an LG smartphone. It doesn't matter what LG phone you have. This will work This will work with literally any LG smartphone you have. So it's completely free. As I said before, you don't have to download anything. Everything is just built into it. So we just have to, we just have to check a couple of the boxes. So I'm gonna show you exactly step-by-step -step guide, okay? All right, so on your... On your LG smartphone, the first thing you want to do is head over to your settings page, and inside the settings, you want to go into your network and that uh, internet settings. So now, of course, we'll be using the internet connection. So in this case, you got a couple options. Uh, the the one I would recommend is you you be using your home Wi-Fi. It's free. You don't have to worry about data. I mean, it's it's a homey Wi-Fi, right? That's the first recommendation. I would I would extremely encourage you you to use your uh, home Wi-Fi. It's free. It's homey. It it just works. Okay. So go to your Wi-Fi settings and make sure your phone is connected to your home Wi-Fi. Again, if you don't have home Wi-Fi, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you another way. You can um, you can skip this part actually. So the second method is going to be your mobile hotspot. Now, the problem with the mobile hotspot is that it might not be free depending on where you live, depending on your data plan. So. And for that, you have to uh, you have to turn off the Wi-Fi and you have to manually enable the mobile data and just be careful with the mobile data. Even the phone would tell you that it might cost you credit. So just be careful with that. It, it will cost you credit depending on what, what your data plan is, what your, I mean, where you live or, you know, it might cost you credit. Just, so just be careful with the mobile data. For the sake of this video, I'll be using my home Wi-Fi. So let me just turn off the mobile hotspot. But mobile hot, hotspot works exactly the same as Wi-Fi, okay? So, all right. So the hotspot is turned off. I'm just going to enable the home, home Wi-Fi and that is pretty much all. All there is to it. Once your phone, once your phone is connected to your home Wi-Fi, that is pretty much all you have to do on your smartphone. Okay, so now let me show you the screen mirroring settings on your LG phone if you're having uh, trouble finding it. So there's three different ways you can find this. The first one is going to be your uh, going to be your control center. If you can't, if you don't find the screen sharing in your uh, control center of your LG phone, you can edit the control center and you can drag the screen sharing option into your control center. Really simple really easy i recommend you do that if you um you know if you if you screen share again and again if you too fr frequent basically okay so the second one is going into be the uh, settings page now inside the settings page you can actually search for screen sharing and it will automatically pop up so let me just type in the screen sharing really simple there you go it's pretty simple that way you don't have to go into your control center you can directly go to the screen sharing tab now the third option is really simple as well so let me just uh let me just go back to the uh, menu uh, settings page. Now inside the settings, you have to go to your connected devices settings. So now inside the connected devices, if you look at the top second option, that is your screen sharing option. Again, if you still have questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely, definitely get back to you, okay? All right, so that's pretty much it. Now we have to do the exact same thing onto your uh, known Android Simple TV. So this is a 11 years old, actually 12 years old Samsung known Android TV. So the first thing you wanna do is head over to your network settings on your TV. And if you have done this before, or if you have connected your TV to your Wi-Fi, you can go into your network status and make sure it's connected. Or if you're just like me, if you're doing this for the first time, go into your network settings and go and make sure your TV is connected to your home Wi-Fi. If you're using the hotspot, make sure your TV is connected to that hotspot. Basically, we just have to make sure that the TV and your phone are on the same connection. Now, this part is optional. If you're using an older, like me, older TV like me, you have to manually enable the screen mirroring feature. You can head over to your source option or you can find that settings 
into your network settings that this is not recommended if you're using a newer tv or android tv by the way if you want the android tutorial leave the comment section leave a comment down below i'll definitely make that okay so manually enable the screen mirroring um um manually enable the screen mirroring so that way the tv knows that we want to mirror something to it so yeah okay so now let's it's time to mirror the uh, lg phone to your tv okay so i've showed you before you know how to find the screen sharing option head over to your control center or your settings whatever you like now click on that screen sharing option it's automatically search for the tv that is running in the background so in this case i got two um, got couple tvs actually so just click on the samsung the one you want to mirror to and as you can see it's connecting to my lg v60 and bam we are connected it took about what a couple of seconds to do this it's extremely simple really smooth i mean it's so smooth by the way you can play games you can watch videos you have tons of options i'm going to show you a couple ways you can uh, you know uh, maximize the uh, productivity uh, on this <laughs> you can play games if you want to that's actually what i like to do on uh, when i uh, screen mirror my phone to a normal tv so i usually play clash of clans or uh, or something else so just an example i want to show you you can play games if you want to lag free by the way so you don't have you don't feel that lag on your uh, on your tv so like really smooth it's extremely smooth now the second is going to be your uh camera you can actually use this as a spy camera if you want to that's a that's a pro tip <laughs> but yeah you can take photos if you want to you can lively live take photos basically i just took a photo open the photo and i'm gonna zoom in also you can rotate as well i just um i've turned that off but yeah you can just zoom in on the photo and it's just lovely it's basically awesome it's it's just awesome by the way be sure to subscribe okay don't forget to subscribe to the channel that would mean a lot to me okay if you if you like naruto be be sure to subscribe okay all right so um as i said before you can watch videos if you want to so in this case i'm just going to click on youtube video you can go full screen as well the audio will be coming from the tv and if it's not coming from your tv uh go into your kind of uh, go into your screen sharing settings or you can comment down below i would i would help you definitely but that's pretty much it for the video Amrus. and uh, if you have any questions be sure to subscribe and comment down below like this video if this if you find this video helpful the way you disconnect is basically click on that blue icon or you can go into your control center and click you can go into the control center or notification panels you can just click on disconnect and it will automatically disconnect for you it's pretty simple really easy and i hope you enjoy the video um, i mean the tutorial so <laughs> that's pretty much it for me i'm gonna peace out